you come on down, we'd love to have you. So let me tell you a little bit about our group. Here this right here. So like I said, they meet every second Thursday. The purpose really is just to get together and uh, share our work. And usually what I do is um, I bring in a couple different writing exercises. We've got opportunity to write, and there's always opportunity to share. So I'm just going to read you um, one of the poems. I always write as well with the group that I think exemplifies um, kind of who we are. And then I'm going to introduce some of the writers. So this is an exercise I've ever do you called Poetry Should. Um, if you ever feel like you're not yourself, you can put your own art form in there. Art should, creativity should, conversation should. So poetry, it should belch loudly in the prune section of a supermarket without ever having to say, excuse me. Poetry should stammer and swagger on our dance floor, crushing toes with each stiletto heeled stomp. Poetry should goose the old ladies, frighten the children, and take two shots of gin well before breakfast. Poetry should never take any shit lying down, nor should it ever be concerned with legacy or aesthetics. It should instead be the thunderclap in our shushed theater. Hot pink lipstick worn in the grain of winter, pushing and pulling boundaries until they snap back to let other voices in. Thank you. Are you ready, Jim? Jim is our resident uh, storyteller and creator of stories with his, uh, with his pen. So I'd like you all to give Jim a, little, a warm welcome. Yeah. Okay, I've uh, never done this, so this should be pretty funny. No, no, uh, okay. Okay, uh, let's start with a metaphor. Light. Life is uh, walking along an endless street and the people you pass you can throw a pie in your face or kick you in the ass with great big clown shoes. An ideal day is more pie less ass. <laughs> there you go. Okay. This one, this next one's, uh, it's not really funny, but it's about, uh, anyway, this is it. It's called Nash Equilibrium. I have a $10 bill. I want to pack a black market in Maury. A simple procedure here is complicated and he has no change. A darkie sitting in the doorway says, change for a 10, give me the 10. Sure, when I was two, maybe. He looks wounded, I've ever heardly, I've ever heardly been disparaged his honor. He does not, however, produce the change. Turn around and walk away. Hold on, buddy's buddy has a handful of change. Fish five bucks out of his hand, grab the pack of small candle, the ten dollar bill, walk away, don't look back. <laughs> there you go. Can you uh, be a closer to the mic, please? Can you hear me? Oh, here we go. Pump it up. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, here's another one. This one's called Perspective. Okay, we all have our own habit. Oxycontin or oxytocin, we all have a ritual that does it for us. So one thing to keep in mind is this. Whether you're an 83-year-old pensioner with a blue rinse, madly tapping the screen at the second floor of Planet Bingo, or you're a 22-year-old gay bottom having a 14-gauge sterilized needle pushed to the glands of your penis at the SNM Club on Davy Street, save a men's shows, it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Almost yeah. right. Okay, uh, this one isn't really funny, or it's, but anyway, it's called Don't. Okay, don't tell me the immigrants are taking all the jobs when they work 20 years in a job you would never consider for a wage you yourself and told me you wouldn't take. Don't tell me that a person shot 10 times in the back had a lethal dose of cocaine in the system when you can't tell me the LD50 of cocaine. Don't tell me they're burning crosses in the town I grew up in when you're smoking a rock and you're called to make sure I speak. Don't tell me about Jesus when I see you picking up 13 year old in a kiddie stroll. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't pay lip service to the concept of democracy when you elect and re-elect great skull psychopaths. Don't offer me $100,000 for 32 sisters in my neighborhood when you consider the same amount appropriate for two stolen lawnmowers in Kersdale. Don't tell me your rights being violated by a roadside traffic check when you have conflict items in your safety deposit box. Don't walk in my mind with dirty feet when the only person convinced of your genius is you. Don't. That's it. Thank you.